up guys this is Drew from the Midwest Dream Car Collection uh, I'm gonna do a pretty short video today uh, I'm gonna run you through our C8 Corvette and the spec that we chose I will see if I can get the screen to show up on the video here so this is an order we placed about a month ago I obviously I want to see what you guys would change uh, how exactly you would spec your C8 Corvette if you were buying one yourself it looks like the base price of this car is fifty eight thousand nine hundred dollars which is reasonable for a mid-engine supercar I guess we'll call it the thing that would make it more expensive is if you bought the convertible version which is sixty seven thousand four hundred ninety five dollars an additional eight thousand um, dollars I've never really understood what the significance of the convertible is when you're buying a Corvette because you would get the Targa roof anyway on a regular coupe model. The nice thing is on the C8s, you're going to be getting a hard top convertible instead of a soft top and I've never really liked the soft top that much but the hard top is obviously more realistic. We decided just on the regular coupe model, which we can convert into a convertible with the Targa style roof. So and it's obviously the cheaper option. Total options included. The total came out to $26,095. Um, the vehicle subtotal for that is $84,995 and the destination charge to our dealership is $1,095. So the grand total is $86,090. So we went with the Corvette Stingray Coupe with the 3LT. So we have the Coupe chosen. Um, and then we will go with the 3LT engine option. 6.2 liter V8, eight speed dual clutch transmission. So that raises the MSRP quite a bit already. And then next is the colors chosen. And we went with the Elkhart Lake Blue Metallic. Um, originally we chose Rapid Blue, but we were told that color is not going to be available in this first run of orders. So we went with the Elkhart Lake Metallic Blue instead and it's similar but it's just a darker blue um, i think we wanted to avoid yellow and red because that's a very obvious color to be chosen for this car we wanted this one to be different if we were going to buy it we bought no extra color there so we bought the jet black napa leather seating surfaces with perforated microfiber inserts which was an additional 595 dollars and then we'll go to packages and we went with the Z51 performance package which was an additional $5,000 and the engine appearance package just so you could see through the actual uh, glass on that back hatch just like a Ferrari or Lamborghini would be so we went with both package options which is going to be about $6,000 in the exterior section here, we actually went with the 19 inch front, 20 inch rear, five spoke black painted aluminum wheels. That was an additional $2,695. Uh, the problem is it doesn't show up here on this website. Yeah. So I'll just go with the vector gray color instead. Let's see, we also went with the Adrenaline Red Custom Leather Stitch, which is an interior option. Uh, we went with the, I think we went with black lug nuts. We went with the High Wing Spoiler in Carbon Flash Metallic. It would make sense to have the Corvette Museum delivery because we are a museum as well. And then we could go see the Corvette Museum itself. But we did not do that. Um, I think that's it for exterior. Then we'll go to interior, which is where things got interesting. We went with the $500 optional competition sport bucket seats. We went with the torch red seat belt color. We went with the adrenaline red custom leather stitch. And we went with red brake calipers. I think I might have forgot that.
We went with bright red painted brake calipers, $595 additional option. So we wanted to have some accents involved with the car. So we went with all the accents to be a red color, uh, which would contrast well with the blue that we went with. Now back to the interior. I think that was it. Competition sport bucket seats, red seatbelt color, red custom leather stitching, um, which you can see down here with the red seatbelt there, these competition seats, and then there's a red stitch that you can't see as well. And then the accessories. I don't think we bought any accessories. So like I said, that coupe comes with the Targa roof and I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you a little clip of how that Targa roof is taken off, which will be shown by Brent Baker. That'll be inserted right now. Let's go ahead and pull down the sun visors and it'll expose two large clips. Pull the clips back towards yourself and push them out towards the edges of the car. Then on the rear of the roof, there's a single latch. You're gonna see it unseat itself from the rear and just slide your hand into the back side of it while grabbing the front and keeping it in the same direction that it was on top of the Corvette, we're just gonna gently set it into the car. Let's see the summary is $85,985. So the total came out to $84,995. I'm not sure, I might have added something additional into this. Um, but, it should be a pretty cool car. Uh, like I said, there will be a link in the description below. Um, you can design your own spec there, and uh, I would I would love to see a comment of what exactly you would choose, how how you would change our spec if you are going to change it. Um, like I said, the nice thing about this is we're getting a an interesting car uh, with the very interesting color. So I'll leave it to you guys to decide how exactly you would change this spec how you would spec your own Corvette C8 if you are going to spec one. Um, it's an exciting car and it should be here end of February is what we are anticipating. So uh, we'll do a re review when that car actually comes in. It should be very cool. And um, you know, I've never been super excited about Corvettes, but this is uh, obviously a huge change for the Corvette lineup. So. Um, it should be awfully exciting. So let me know how exactly you would spec your Corvette. Today I'm obviously I'm wearing my Hoovies Garage t-shirt which I purchased from his website. Um, pretty happy with my purchase. Uh, hopefully you guys like it too. Um, you would think that a a uh, friend would give you free clout, but actually I just went ahead and paid for it with my own money just to support him and his channel, which most of you come from his channel anyway. So I look forward to reading the comments and thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.